Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Groves. Ho ho. Hey guys, it's Groves Project 101 here with another episode of Mario Maker Forge, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to create your own custom chest. Okay. So, this isn't making a chest from scratch, by the way. This is actually just going from the vanilla code and making a few changes here and there. Okay, this will be just right from scratch, but it will, uh, this episode will be um, go over a few episodes. However, if you are looking for some nice tutorials which write things like this from scratch, then go check out Scratch of Fun. Because, yeah, okay. But I tried to make um, this tutorial simple and easy to understand. And he goes into a little bit more detail, but I try and get him fast, easy to understand, so people can just go through it. Okay, so let's start with uh, going to our block class, open up TM block, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go public static block tut chest, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go tut chest, it's going to be equal to new, Tut chest. And then we'll come back to here in a second and we will add the rest of the extensions of this. Okay, so I'm going to create this class tut chest. Hit finish. On this, rather than extending block, we're going to extend block chest. So I'm going to import that. And see, he's going to ask us to add a struct as per usual. And that's the integer. And you see that I've actually got a block chest that this integer is equal to whatever this is referred to inside of the code, which is compify power. Ah, okay, so we're just basically going to set this to zero because this will be edited later on during the thing, so we'll just set that to zero. Okay, so what we need to do, so the blitz class now, we need to go dot set block name tot chest dot set creative tab tm creative tabs dot tab block dot set texture name uh, strings dot mod id plus colon tut chest okay and that was meant to be a capital. Okay, I'm going to create that texture later because it's not the normal way you would create a texture obviously because it's got multiple sides and it's also using a custom model. So we'll come back to that later. Okay. So inside of chess, we need to add a few methods inside of here. Okay. And these methods, are, we're going to only need to require the methods which refer to either block chest or the Thailand C uh, chest. Okay. So the balance doesn't refer to it. On block added doesn't refer to it. However, on block place by does refer to it, as you can see here. So it says Thailand's chest at the bottom. And we're just going to paste this right up in here. Okay. So we're going to edit that in a minute. And this method doesn't refer to it by the looks of it. Nope. Okay. Uh, can place block out. That doesn't refer to it by the looks of things either. Okay. And... On the block change, however, that does refer to it. So we need to copy and paste this into here. And break block also refers to it. So we need to copy this over. Uh, don't worry, we will be going through each of these methods. Okay. So... And we've got unblock activator, which doesn't refer to it by the looks of things. However, the inventory uh, function underscore smut 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 doesn't uh, also refers to it. We need to copy this over and not explain. Don't worry, I am going to explain what everything does. I'm sorry, I made a background noise because the kids are just making tons and tons of noise. Paste that over. Paste. Is there anything else that? It also refers to Thailand's chest. Doesn't look like it. And obviously we need to have this register icons at the bottom. And that's it. From what I can see anyway. Okay. See we've got a few errors here. 
And that's because we've got uh, some variables that are actually here inside of this class. So the way we're going to do this is we're actually going to find function b and function o somewhere inside of this code. So we're actually going to go to function o, wherever this is, which I think this might actually be the uh, that ocelot one, which is yet yeah, I'm correct. This one here. Okay, so we're going to copy this ocelot thing over and paste this above the icon, I think. Below that. Like so. So it gets rid of them. And then we got function b, which we sort out. And that is just a random number. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to hit control F. And we're going to find tile and say chest. Make it case sensitive. And we're going to replace it with tut tile and say chest. Or oh, tile and say touch chest, I think we'll do. Hit find. Which can't find. I have to put title. <laughs> tile. Find and replace all. Like so. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to create this class now. Hit finish, and we'll come back to that in a second once I've explained everything inside of here. Talents chest. What? Oh, extends. Tile. Entity. Chest. Okay, we'll just do that in here. So, we have no issues. And all errors are fixed but one, which is this unrequired error. Okay. Uh, unrequired import, sorry. Okay. So on what place by, basically what this does, this just makes sure that the um, the block that's placed, um, which is the chest, rotates around when it's been placed. Okay, so you can see here it's going to refer to all the sides from what it's being placed from. So 0, 1. So you've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And obviously that's it because we only want it to rotate, to be able to face four ways because we don't want to be able to face up and down. So it's only going to have an if statement for four of them. And this just basically sets which rotation, uh, which way it is actually facing. And obviously, this just gives it its display name once you're inside of that chest. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Sorry about that. Okay. So you've also got unnamed block change. Okay. And basically, what this is going to do is it's going to check to see if there's another tile and see chest block next to it. Okay. So uh, if there is another tile and see chest block. It's going to go over to the Thailand, uh, Thailand C class and say, we want you to do this, this, and this. Okay. And that will create a large chest for us. Okay. The break block, this just says, make sure everything uh, spills out its contents. That's why it has item stack in it. So it checks the stack size of everything. So it drops the correct amount of stuff. Okay. So he's got the get item, and the, which is basically also get the blocks and stuff like that. Inventory. Okay. This is like... Um, the actual name of the block okay so what we're gonna do is inside of these two inside of this string here we're just gonna go tut chest oh we're gonna go large touch chest sorry so I'm just gonna copy that over and you're gonna paste it on all of these ones here on the container chest double okay that's actually an actual class so that's how it's getting its name okay this one here, I'm not too sure what this does about the ocelot. I'm assuming it says... Mm. I mean, this is in case it's sitting on it. It'll make the ocelot perform a certain action. A uh, certain action, sorry. Also, this creates the tile and C. And obviously, and this one actually gives it its texture for when um, the particle effect when it's broken, okay? It doesn't actually give it its texture, okay? It just shows the particle effect, okay? Now onto the talent C touch chest. Okay, what we need to do is we're not actually going to start in here. We're going to go and create. I'm going to change the package of this first, by the way. So we're going to change this to tile entity. Tile dot entity. Or tile underscore entity will do it as. So we're going to move. That's the package. And inside of that package, we're actually going to create another file. And that will be just tut tile 
and sick. So, uh, sorry, TM Thailand C. Hit finish. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. And yeah, okay. So that's um, actually great. Uh, so basically, inside of here, we're actually going to make it register the actual Thailand C. So I'm just going to go public. Static. Void. Main. Registry. Okay, and then I'm going to write register tile entities. Entities, sorry. Okay, that's going to be a method we're going to create now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go write game registry dot register tile entity. Okay. So it's going to ask for a tile entity class, which should be our tile entity tot chest dot class and the id is going to be a string which we can have to set anything we want so we can have strings dot mm, dot mod id why is it not getting a strings class oh it's not getting a strings class because i don't know Rings. Dot. Oh, it's because it's imported the wrong string type. Strings. Dot. Mod ID. Okay. Save that. Okay. Let's get rid of that on there. Sorry, space there. And that's it. We've just registered the talent entity. And now on to the actual talent entity bit. Okay. Once we've registered it in the main registry. So I make sure you register that in the main registry. So I'm going to write. At the top of this, by the way, so above block. TM to, uh, tile entity dot main registry. Okay, so now inside of here, what we need to do is we are going to grab anything that refers to tile entity chest. Okay, and what we're going to do, so we're going to copy these variables up here, copy them, paste them into our tile entity. And call the and obviously replace these with tut like that. And can we override these as well or No we can't. And I'll be right back. Right, sorry about that, okay. So um as I was saying we need to copy these over and I can't we can't override them. So we're just gonna keep them like that. And we're gonna find anything else that's here. Okay, so we need to copy this uh, sorry we're not going to copy that we are going to find anything else that refers to uh, frost chest uh, not frost chest, ugh, block chest so our frost chest is something in another mod that I'm working on which is called Articraft okay, so we need to copy this uh, get inventory name of oh, talent to touch chest like so Gonna ask for a custom name variable which we're actually going to create because actually no sorry it's up here already and there it is so we'll make it private okay and keep going from where we were so we need to copy these as well these two here And paste it inside of here. Like so. We need to copy the. Do we need to copy the read from MBT? Yeah, we will. Let's copy that over. And paste it into here. Chest contents. It's going to ask us to create that as well by the looks of things. Which is great. No, it's not. Okay, so chest contents, that is a variable up here, which involves, all right, how many slots are inside of the tile entity, okay. So if we change this, this is the amount of slots that would work, but obviously we don't want to change it because we want, basically we're going to be using the chest GUI, the chest, uh, the default chest GUI, okay. We're not doing advanced GUI, uh, GUIs today, just the normal chest. So go back to where we were, which is here, so as I'm aware. Thank you. 
Where were we? I can't I've lost my spot now, sorry, I was just trying to sort something with the kids. I just hit okay, we were here. So we need to copy the rights as well. The right MBBT. And place this inside of here. We don't need the inventory stat limit because, uh, well, we could put that in if we wanted to, you know, say, but uh, for sakes of saying, I don't know, we only want six, uh, stacks of 16 to be able to place in here. But we are not going to do that, okay? We don't need that. We don't need this, other than this one here. And we paste this into here. We need to copy this one here to check for adjacent test, which will actually create the better block. We need to copy this one here, which is the block chest. Okay, we'll paste this into here. Like so. Do we need anything out of here? No, because remember we're keeping these in between large chests because we're going to be using the default GUI. Uh, that's just the sounds, you could change that if you wanted to. So you could copy this over and change the uh, sound you wanted when it's closed. And I think that's just everything. Oh, no, we've got this one here as well. Okay. I'll place this in here. Uh, I don't write at anything we can, which we can. Okay. So, I guess that is everything. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to find this. Okay, so i um, replace it with tile entity right entity tut chest this all and what the hell just happened that happened okay which isn't good because we've just got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of errors because we are not copying, we're not following this. There we are, sorry. Copy and paste that. Import. And now we only have a couple errors at the bottom. Because it changed that to tower. Let's see, yeah. You, you get the point, what just happened. Okay, we need a cast chest type. Let's find cast chest type in this. And that is just an insert which we can place at the top. Apparently. Except. Uh, that is all I was gone. But what we need to do, we need to get rid of this block chest thing here. Go down to wherever it's, it is. And change this to tut chest. And any place we can. Import it all. And that is it. Okay, so why is this error ring in here? So we need to import talent to tut chest. Ah, okay. And believe it or not guys, that's the main part of the code gone. We've tackled quite a big part of that, okay? So the next bit we need to do is we need to actually um, create textures and also render the block itself. So we can close all of this. Actually, wait a minute, did I just... Yeah, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go back to that, sorry. I need to change this thing at the bottom here, which is the planks oak, and we're going to change this to tuts, chest, and strings... Dot modded ID. Like so, okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to our client proxy and we're gonna add a few rendering methods. Okay. The first one's gonna be rendering registry. Rendering registry dot <coughs> register NC rendering handler, I think. Yep. No, sorry, not register NC rendering handler. Ugh. I've done the wrong thing. I want to go to client registry dot bind tile entity special render. That's what I meant to put. Okay, so the tile entity class is just going to be tile entity tut chest dot class. And the special render is going to be new 
at touch chest render. Renderer, okay? And we're gonna place this, create this class, sorry, once we've added these two brackets at the end. And we're gonna place it inside of render dot tile underscore entity. Except when I finish, and it's gonna create the class star, okay? We're gonna come back to that in a, just a moment, okay? And then the next one we need to do is we need to register the item. Uh, the, uh, we need to do the item renderer. Sorry, that's what I wanted to say. Reason being is because if we don't, it's just going to look like a normal chest because we're extending the cloud, the tile into the chest. So Minecraft uh, forge client dot register item renderer. Okay, so we're going to do item dot gets item from block so this will be the inventory item and I'm gonna go AC underscore block not AC underscore block that's my other mod which is that's crap going from that I don't know why okay and that's gonna be um sorry TM block dot touch chest and then the render we're gonna have is new item render tot chest and um, we're going to create this class inside of dot render dot item. I'm going to finish, and that's it. Okay, and we're going to come back to this one in just a moment. Okay. However, there is a certain file we're going to look for to render this. Okay, and that is going to be if you go to search file, and we go to chest. And hit search. I'm gonna go for everything that involves chest. Okay, whatever. And we are gonna go into recomp source. We're gonna go to net minecraft uh, clients renderer talency talency chest renderer is what we're gonna open. Okay. And all we're gonna do is we actually end this search now. So we're gonna copy this over to the tut chest renderer. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna make a few modifications to this class, okay? So we import everything again. So these few modifications, okay, we're gonna get rid of block chest, obviously, and talency chest. And wherever they're called upon, like here, talency, this is gonna be replaced with tut chest. Alright, so we first fit just at the bottom there. And obviously we've got these here which we're going to replace with tot chest if we could change that there and here and just important okay and that's it okay so what we're going to actually make the changes here to is we're going to keep the normal one there we're going to get rid of the christmas one and the trapped one and we're going to keep normal double and trap double like so okay and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of these if statements here, okay? So we're going to spam this text like we normally would. And same with here, there's going to be no else. It's just going to go like that. Okay, so we'll get rid of the Christmas Day stuff and stuff like that. Okay. So obviously we need to not format, because it doesn't like that. Did we get rid of those if statements? Yes, we did. Okay. So I actually what I'm gonna do while I'm here because I've updated my eclipse, so we need to Don't you don't you guys don't need to do this, in fact I'll be right back once we've done it. So about that, I was I'm back, I was just adding to my preferences for this, okay? And okay, so what we need to do here, we need to edit these textures, okay? So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to strings dot mod id plus colon textures um Texture dash block blocks and then obviously our um file name okay and the file name for this is going to be I don't know tut large sorry tut chest and obviously we're gonna copy this over 
and I'm going to change this just to tot chest. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to create the texture. Okay, so I'm going to be right back once I have the texture from the Artcraft mod because I'm going to find that easier to use then. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to show you how to create that file first because we added that file and we didn't really do anything with it. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we need to go. Where's that file going? It's here. Okay. Is we need to add a constructor to this class. So, we're just going to go public. I just made a touch chest. And we're going to add chest model. Okay. That's going to be equal to new uh, model chest. Okay. But obviously, we need to create this constant. Okay. This will look variable. So we'll make it private, model, chest, chest, model, is equal to new, model, chest, like so. I think that's how it, how it is anyway. Or maybe, we, oh sorry, we don't define this yet, but do it because we're going to have a large chest as well, my bad. model okay. so we're basically in here the handle type we're going to return true I'm sorry about the noise uh, we're also going to return the other statements the other statement true like so it's not true right but render item we're actually going to rather than return anything because this is a void method we don't need to return anything basically what we're going to do is we're going to a line of code in here that will render our chest properly okay and then what I'm going to type is tile entity renderer dispatcher dot instance dot render tile entity at tile entity so it's going to be tile entity tot chest okay but obviously sorry we need to make new talents to chest notice that the other constants in my opinion are actually too important so if you actually if you even look at this if you wanted to but basically we're just going to set all of these other constants to zero because they're not actually used inside of here other for the special manner which we don't really need to know much about that's just like setting up offset coordinates so we're just going to set this all to zero D, because it's a double. Okay. So I'll just paste that all the way through here. Import talent to touch chest. Oh, it's having issues. Oh, sorry, the last one's a float. There we are. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create the texture. Okay, so like I said, I'll be right back once I go and grab the texture from the Artcraft mod. Be right back. Okay, so um, what we want to do, okay, so once, obviously we're here now, uh, you want to navigate to your MCP folder. You want to go to build, temp, recomp source, assets, Minecraft, textures, blocks, and then go to check a uh, block called textures, models, sorry. No, where is it? No, I'm confused. <laughs> okay, we just find that file again, so if we go to search, file, chest. Obviously, hurry up, come on. Okay, and where was it now? Source, net, Minecraft. Uh, sorry, it's, was it client, renderer? It was inside of, oh, NC. Okay, so you need to navigate to the NC folder, go to chest, and basically what you need to open is the normal double and the normal chest, okay? So I'm gonna right click and hit open with no, sorry, hit open. Open wave. Hit dot net. I'll be right. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to do, so obviously you open this, and you also want to open up the normal double chest as well. And basically, what you need to do is you want to just edit these two to um, whatever you want them to look like. Okay, so obviously this is, you want to edit the top, uh, the inside, the bottom, 
checklist of what's going to look inside the chest, the actual hinge, and stuff like that. Okay, so I'll show you an example from the Articraft mod, which is inside of Documents, Programming, MCPs, YouTube Tutorials, Source, Main, Java, Assets, TM, Textures, Blocks, and obviously we've got our large touch chest and our touch chest. So when I open, and here's an example of the ones that Sam edited to use our texture. Okay, so there's the two examples. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to save them as large touch chest and also touch chest inside of your, um, inside of your assets folder. So source, main, Java, assets, TM, textures, blocks. Obviously, save them inside of here. And once you've done that, believe it or not, that is your um, chest done. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually run this now, run client. And we're going to see if the game launches up. Hopefully it will. Fingers crossed. Uh, single player, new world. It's not going to launch up, sorry. Sorry, it's not going to work or anything like that because I forgot to actually register the block, which I just remembered then. Game registry dot register block touch chest touch chest dot get unlocalized name. Okay, so obviously, I'm actually going to give it its name now, which will be tile dot touch chest dot name equals tutorial chest and save it so we're going to run this now and hopefully it launches so single player we'll play this new world and let's actually turn up this brightness a bit so if we actually go to our next tab and look at our block we've actually got our tile did I type did I not type it right Tile dot touch chest dot oh I've got a lot of KC. I'll be right back once we're in game. And we're back, we just loaded up the game man. And you see we've got our tutorial chest. Okay, so we can actually place this down and it looks like our uh, a frost chest uh, our frost chest from the Outcraft mod. If we can place this, we can make it a double chest, we can rotate it in any direction we would like, okay? And we can you know, open it since it says chest. Because we didn't change See, it says large touch chest here, but we didn't change one more thing. And the last thing we didn't change was if we actually go to the tile NC chest, which is inside of our tile NC folder, we need to look for this where it's a container chest. So we need to change this to touch chest. Like so. And we need to go to all the custom name bytes, which is places like here, here. Here and that's it. So now we can run it, and hopefully it'll launch and look like everything we wanted it to be. Single player, play the world. There we are, the touch chest. And guys, that is it. This is the Groves Project 101, showing you how to uh, add a clone of the normal vanilla chest. You see, we can't place it adjacent like that, like normal chest would do. Again. Okay. We can place it back to back now. Okay. Alright, guys, this has been the Grove Project All One, showing you how to make your own custom chest. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you guys in the next episode. Bye!